if you're shooting high scores there's usually this has some part to play in it swing this with confidence towards the center of the green I know I can't go long I've hit that not too bad hey golfers welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we're going to take a look at three simple things that you can do right away out on the golf course to help lower your scores whether your goal is to break a personal best or break 100 90 80 you're going to get something from today's video so before we get started if you could please don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and let's find out what those three things are so tip number one to help you shoot lower scores is going to be about this bad boy. I know this sometimes can be a little bit of a problem child for a lot of people. If you're shooting high scores, there's usually, this has some part to play in it. Maybe an errant tee shot, lost ball, ding, no good, out of the hole. So we're going to talk about a way, a safe shot off the tee that you can do with this to get the ball in play. And it all starts with tee height. So what I want you to do is tee the ball a fraction lower than you ordinarily would around about half of the ball visible above the driver okay that's number one the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the driver and go down the grip a slight bit in here about an inch okay we're shortening that golf club down for control reasons remember we want a safe shot that you can get down there and get the golf ball in play so next to that is we're going to have our ball position I put a ball on this tee. Rather than up off the left heel for our optimum driver distance and really getting the head up on it, we're going to bring the ball back about two balls inside the left heel here. So we've got slightly shorter, tee lower, and ball position here. Now, here's the trick. We've got ourselves set up. What we need to do if you play golf and you hit this thing at 100%, that's fine. You probably need to dial that down a little bit. But whatever your max capacity is or game speed that you play with on the golf course, whatever that is, we're going to knock 20% off it. Okay, so a lot smoother. So what I'm going to do is hit one, fail, choke down a little bit. The tee is lower. The ball's a little bit further back. And instead of my sort of 95%, swing on the course i'm going to knock that down to 75 80 percent just much slower and smoother not going to go as far but remember it's about hitting the fairway and getting myself in play that way okay heads up the ball is not going to go as far it's going to go a little lower but it's really going to help keep the ball in play so you have a chance rather than setting up and winging it all over the place. trust me i've been there okay so really nice little shot to have to just nudge it down the fairway so let's go and look at tip number two okay so tip number two right i have hit my drive should have used my safe shot technique from tip one but i've ended up in the rough and this goes for rough or trees think of this as as trouble and i want you to get out of it honestly don't try and be the hero. I'm going to give you an example, right? I've got my laser and I have 202 to the flag, right? Can I get my four iron there? Yes. Can I get it there 70%, 80% of the time? No, it's probably a one in 10 shot. So the point here is when you're in trouble, even if it's just rough, I don't have a perfect lie here. It's not too bad. I know I could pull that shot off but I'm gonna be smart. If I can't pull that shot off seven or eight times out of 10, don't go near it. That goes for trees and I'll do other videos on that. But if you're in trouble, think, there's where I wanna go. Could I do that seven or eight times out of 10? If the answer is no, do not do it. If it's a two or three, it's probably not the smart play. So I have two, two I think it was, and I could stand if I grab a four iron, and as I said, I know that I can pull this shot off, but the chances are slim. We'll give it a go. From the rough four irons, wouldn't play this shot, but 
We'll try. Yeah, not bad. It's come up a little short. Fine. But I know that's a high-risk shot because I could duff that and now I have another shot from the rough from 180. Now, what if... Remember, this is about sort of lowering your score. If I was in this lie and I had 200 and thought to myself, well, I like an 80-yard golf shot. It's kind of my favorite. Really enjoy that shot. I'm pretty confident with it. You might be 60 or even 100. So take that 200 number. Remember, if you can't do it, seven or eight times out of 10, you're not going for it. Hit yourself to your favorite yardage. To say mine is 80, so I need this to go 120. As it's in the rough, my pitching wedge number's about 130. I'm probably gonna hit pitching wedge here and try and get this to my favorite yardage where I can capitalize. Perfect, came out quite nice. So now I've hit it in the rough, I've taken my medicine as the saying goes. And now I'm leaving myself a comfortable yardage to be able to walk out of here with a potential par, or hopefully at the very worst, a bogey. Tip number three to help you lower your scores. We're on the fairway and we're approaching the green. Now, I could take my laser and I could shoot the flag, but I'm not going to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my watch, or you might have a GPS sort of app on your phone. I'm gonna check it and look at to see what the back of the green is. In this case, it's 155. Now, I know that if I have my eight iron and I nail it, it will carry 155. That's my best one, and I'm pretty confident that's where it's gonna pitch. Now, most greens are 30 yards long, so I have now got the luxury to A, swing this club with confidence knowing I can't go long. I don't even care where the pin is. Just wanna get this on the green as quick as possible to help make this game much easier. So 155, I nail it, I'm on the back. I don't quite catch it, could end up on the middle. And if I really hit it bad, I could still catch the front edge. For example, if I was looking at that flag and going 155, perfect, grab my eight iron, boom, hit it perfect, super. But if I come out of it, I'm now short and statistically, I'm not gonna get that up and down as much as I will even a longer putt, okay? so. Start to think about this. Find out what your best carry is. Don't even care about your average. Find your best, take the back, and take a club that can't go over the back. And then in reality, we're gonna hit a couple of perfect shots around. But the cool thing is, it plays into our human inconsistencies, and we got hit more greens. The more greens you hit, lower your scores. So let's have a go. Eight iron, going middle of the green, trying to block out the pin it's a conservative strategy cocky swing remember my coach used to tell me so here and swing this with confidence towards the center of the green I know I can't go long I've hit that not too bad and I've still caught a piece of the green because I didn't catch it perfect I didn't reach the back but guess what I'm on the dance floor and I have made it easy for myself I hit that shot to a front pin and lost five yards, front bunker. Now I'm stressing myself out a little bit. Okay guys, so let's take a look. Let's jump up to the green, explain that in a little more detail and see where that shot ended up as well. As we walk up to the green, you can see that the flag was pretty much on the front. I took the back, remember here, 155. I said I didn't catch it perfect, but it's ended up here. A little bit of backspin too. Pitch mark. Always repair your pitch marks. Now, I have an opportunity to putt. Okay. Had I hit this shot, let's pace it out and see. From the ball to the back edge is one, two, three, four, five, six paces. And I'm putting. Let's take six paces from the flag. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and right here, I missed the green. So statistically, I'm going to fancy my chances more from that putt than I am from missing the green short. So guys, that strategy really, really works coming into the green. I promise it will help shave some scores alongside the other two tips that we looked at. Now, you can see that's such a great example. I'm now putting where I wouldn't have been had I shot the flag and took the appropriate club for that. So really, really good. Makes sense. Try it out on the golf course. And of course, you probably want to see if I make this putt. Let's have a look. I'll make sure to fix the pitch mark as well. Right. A lot of dew on the green, so it'll be pretty slow. Right in the teeth, short. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. As always, thank you so much, and don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.